Well, hello and welcome back to Ackle Field School. Uh, it's the start of the 2015 season. Uh, we're back up on Sleevemore for the first half of the summer working on the Cromulac Cumulus site from last year. Um, I'll just show you what we're doing this week. This is our first week. Uh, there's the, the Cromulac Cumulus site over there. We'll be starting back there next week. Over there is the megalithic tomb and we're working on the wall that runs between the two sites. This is a pre-bog field wall, we did have a little excavation of it last year right at the end of the season and we were expecting this to be a very substantial uh, field wall because it's shown on the 1836 first edition ordnance survey map. And I thought that meant that it was going to be a really big feature and just wasn't very visible now, maybe it had been rolled out. When we excavated through here, it really wasn't that impressive. Um, that's the trench we took last year. So we're having another look at it over here. Uh, you can see this is quite a big feature already. So, let me show you. So you see we've got a very substantial amount of stone running across the ditch. Um, and what we're thinking at the moment is that it may be even bigger than that. Because whilst we've got this stone here, and that may just be the wall, and there's a bit of collapse down here, um, there's a lot of stone showing up upslope of the wall, a lot of stone, and what we might be looking at would be the um, the downslope with the large stone would be the outer face and this would be a rubble core and then up here where we haven't dug yet would be another wall face and so the whole thing might be a couple of meters across and that's the sort of size we were expecting. Um, we won't know till we've extended the trench, although where Damien is digging now you can probably see it's just stone upon stone going down so that does look like a um, like a rubble core we haven't got it where Roy is digging at the moment um, but hopefully by this afternoon we'll have all that so we'll be filming again this afternoon and see see whether we're right or not uh, Alright, well that's the end of the third day, well two and a half days on site, the guys have done a lovely looking trench. It's all cleaned up, looking really well now. You can see the satisfied diggers over there, admiring their work. So here we go, we've got the big wall, or wall face, one or the other, coming across the trench. Not a lot going on down there, just a little bit of collapse. The big boulder in the middle is just a natural stone that's part of the mountainside. And then above the wall, as I was saying before, we've got all this small collapsed stone. Now, all jumbled stone. And I see the one or two things. It's going to be a rubble core to a big wall, so there'll be an outer face. The rubble core and a another face to it behind me. Where we'll, we'll extend the trench that way to find out or it's just collapsed from the wall although normally you would expect the collapse to go down slope and if it is collapsed when we extend the trench it should just peter out as we come further up the slope so it'll be easy to sort that one out where we need an extra meter or two adding onto the trench um, if it is jumble or collapse it's strange that there's all big stones in the intact part of the wall and just small ones down here um, so that I'm really thinking about does it mean that someone's come up and picked away some of the bigger stones and the medium sized stones out of that and just left the um, the smaller debris so that that's possible um, we'll know in a week or two when we've, we've extended this so this is our first week next two days of recording this trench and then so these guys have got some drawing to do and uh, after that we'll be heading off back to the Cromlech Tumulus to finish up the work we were doing there last year.